Imagine that you can become an experienced pilot overnight, or maybe become an extremely smart scientist like Einstein, or learn every single language on the face of the planet in minutes. Well, with a click of a button, you could acquire all these skills combined. This is not a sci-fi movie. This could become a reality way sooner than expected. In this video, I will show you two concepts that could allow the superpower to become a reality. So without further ado, let's start with the first concept. The first concept is known as the artificial intelligence brain interface. Simply connecting our human brain to an AI via a high bandwidth interface. Before we jump into the details of this technology, let's cover the basics of artificial neural networks first. Artificial neural networks mimic the human brain by connecting thousands of artificial neurons together. This could enable computers to see, make decisions, and become extremely smart at specific tasks. Advancements of AI are accelerating at a massive pace that if we cannot keep up with them, humans will literally be left behind. At this pace, human intelligence will be like ants or monkeys compared to AI. If you don't believe me, let's take a look at this graph that shows how AI compute advanced in the last six to seven years. AI compute power has been doubling every 3.5 months. Yes, you heard it right. It's months, not years. This is way faster than Moore's law, which states that speed and ability of computers doubles every two years as the number of transistors increases. Recent AI advancements started with AlexNet back in 2013, followed by GoogleNet and VGG in 2015, then ResNet in 2016, and then AlphaGo and AlphaZero in 2018. So if AI is unstoppable and our brain capacity is limited, what the hell should humans do? What if we can connect our biological neurons in the brain to the artificial neurons via a high bandwidth interface? Well, that could ultimately enable humans to have superpowers by leveraging the power of AI. Luckily, there are many companies that are currently working on this high bandwidth brain-machine interface, such as Elon Musk's Neuralink. This is done by inserting an extremely thin electrodes that are thinner than the human hair into the brain. These electrodes can read voltage signals or spikes, or what we call it action potentials inside the brain when the neuron sends information. This voltage, which could be converted into a digital form and transmitted wirelessly to a mobile device or ultimately to an AI. Here are some great news. Musk announced that the team has enabled a monkey to control a computer with its brain. The second strategy that could accelerate the transfer of skills and knowledge is known as transfer learning. Transfer learning is a machine learning technique in which a network that has been trained to perform a specific task is being repurposed as a starting point to perform another similar task. Think of the skills you learn when you do skating, for example. What if you leverage these skills and apply them to do skiing, for instance? Generally speaking, you will find that people who know how to skate, they won't take long to master skiing because the skill sets are quite similar. That's exactly what transfer learning does. Transfer learning is widely used since starting from a pre-trained models can dramatically reduce the computational time required if training is performed from scratch. Artificial neural networks are computing systems that are inspired by the human brain. Artificial neural networks are built using a collection of nodes called artificial neurons that mimic the biological neurons in our brain. The neurons collect signals from input channels named dendrites, process the information in its nucleus, and then generate an output in a long, thin branch called the axon. Human learning occurs adaptively by varying the bond strengths between these neurons. An artificial neural network works in the exact same fashion. The neuron processes information that's coming from several inputs, let's say x1, x2, x3, after multiplying them with various weights, weight 1, weight 2, weight 3, and then generates an output to the axon. A convolutional neural network is a certain type of artificial neural networks that works like magic with images. So in a CNN, you apply several layers of convolutions and downsampling layers, and then you connect a fully connected artificial neural networks at the end. If you feed an image to a CNN, the first layers generally detect low-level features such as edges, for example. As you go deeper in the network, 
higher level features are, are being detected, such as faces, trees, and cars, and so on. So back to transfer learning. In transfer learning, a base artificial neural network that has been trained beforehand is being used. Then the weights from this trained networks are then repurposed in a second artificial neural network to be trained on a new data set and specific function. Transfer learning works great if the features are general, such as trained weights can effectively be repurposed. Intelligence is being transferred from the base network to the newly target network. AI revolution is here and AI advancements are truly scary. Can you imagine what AI could do in 20 years from today? Now it's the best time to learn and master artificial intelligence. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it easy, useful, and simple. Please subscribe to my channel and activate the bell for more videos and see you next week.